Hey friends, welcome to Chemistry Lover and uh, uh, the, the topic uh, which people requested me most is uh, how to read the book laden. Now, uh, how to read the book laden means which chapters you should read. Okay, so uh, I'll first tell you that in my personal opinion that you should read the whole book because it's a very good book and uh, if you read the whole book, you will learn the organic chemistry, right? Now, uh, if you are in B.Sc. first year or second year, or if you are in B.Sc. in general or M.Sc. first year, then you have a chance for reading the whole book. But if you are preparing for the CSI NET exam, 2000, uh, let's say 2018 December, then you have very less time. And uh, if you want to, re if you go for reading whole the, uh, the whole book, then I think it will not be a good decision for you. If you read this book previously, then it's okay. But if you are if you are new uh, to read this book or the book is new for you then it is not a good decision because it will take a lot of time to read this book you can see this is a very uh, uh, voluminous book you can see there are uh, more than thousand pages so it is not a good decision so in this video I will uh, tell you that which chapters at least you should read uh, from this book that will help you again I am telling that I will first encourage you to read the whole book but if you don't have time then at least these chapters you should read because other things uh, you can you can and i i know you read from uh, other books at least so now uh, these are the chapters that you should read i will uh, summarize, summarize and also i will tell you that in which order you should read, read them so there are uh, almost 34 chapters okay uh, so that's all so let's start to this topic So these are the uh, 20 to 23 chapters from Clarion that you must read uh, in order to prepare for your CSI NET exam and uh, I will tell you uh, that which chapters are important for what reason so watch this video so uh, you can see in chapter uh, the first chapter of what I am mentioning is uh, the nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl group and uh, this is the chapter number 10 in the second edition of Clayton, right? So, uh, from this chapter, you will get a lot of idea about the reaction of the carbonyl groups, right? Any, no other book can explain these things in uh, such a way. So, that's why I mentioned uh, this chapter here. Okay, so the second chapter is again related to the carbonyl group and uh, it is the substitution reaction, that is the loss of the uh, carbonyl oxygen group, right? So, uh, this is again another very important chapter for carbonyl and uh, there are several chapters in Clarion for, for uh, dedicated only for the carbonyl uh, chemistry and all the chapters are very important because uh, the concept which you will get out of these chapters are brilliant. You can never get that type of concept from any other books. Right. The next thing which I will suggest is the H1 NMR spectra. So H1 NMR spectra, there are a lot of qualitative things are given. How can you, uh, I will show you that how uh, you, you should use this book for uh, spectroscopic data how, how you can remember the uh, values right so because when you uh, have to deduct the structure uh, by decoding the data that is very important thing so in the, it is chapter number 13 of the second edition of Clayton now uh, the review of the spectroscopic method is again very important chapter uh, when you consider spectroscopy and here not only um, NMR but also the IR and your uh, other spectra like uh, these things are given the data are uh, very nicely given that uh, how you have to remember them you don't have to memorize but you have to uh, um, get the idea that how you have to grasp the data in a uh, clear cut way you don't have to give a lot of pressure in your head and again uh, you can easily remember them right so uh, we, you can only uh, understand that when you will read the chapter so you can see this is uh, this is from chapter H1 NMR and this is page number 276 this chart is very important okay it says that how your chemical shift of your uh, proton will vary with adding some group uh, let's say you have a CH3 group it, it will have normally it will have a chemical shift of 0 0.9 now if you, if you add some group how it will be affected that is given by this chart so uh, you should have clear idea about this about this chart uh, then you can very easily predict the structure of molecules right 
so that's why this chapter is very important and a lot of other things in this chapters are important so that's why you should read it so next chapter is uh, the formation of and it is chapter number 18 right so next chapter is the formation of uh, formation and reaction of enol and enolate and uh, if you read this chapter you will have a clear idea that uh, how stable enolate is formed how unstable enolate is formed uh, what is their reactivity how their reactivity is um, uh, affected by different uh, conditions and how they react with electrophiles right so this is chapter number 20 then uh, another chapter related to enolate is the alkylation of enolate right this alkylation of enolate and this uh, uh, this is chapter number 25 you can see and uh, the related chapter is the uh, reaction of enolate with carbonyl compounds that is the basically the aldol and claisen reaction it is chapter number 26 so all these three uh, chapters are related to enol and enolate chemistry so you should read uh, these chapters from claisen because this book will give you a very clear idea then uh, the radio selectivity radio selectivity and this chemo selectivity and protecting groups this is very nicely and separately mentioned in this book you can get these things in, in, uh, in many other books but they are like uh, spread over the book but in this book this there is a special chapter on radio selectivity there is a special chapter on chemo selectivity and uh, so you can get all the ideas uh, in a compact way right so this is very important and it's chapter number 24 and 23 right after that uh, this aromatic heterocycles uh, there are two chapters one on reaction and one on the synthesis uh, chapter number 29 and 30 uh, both you should read because uh, at least these two chapters you should read thoroughly uh, uh, by that you will get a lot of idea about heterocyclic compounds and uh, you may not get common examples from the book but uh, if you read this two chapter you can solve most of the questions uh, related to heterocyclic chemistry right after that the saturated heterocycles and electro uh, stereoelectronics there is a chapter it is very important it is basically the uh, application of stereochemistry or the involvement of stereoelectronic factors in reactions and that's why you should you must read this chapter right uh, it will help you for main predicting many other reactions then uh, stereo selectivity in cyclic systems this is very important the drawing of the book is very nice so that's why i am su uh, suggesting to to read this because uh, otherwise you can get it in other books also for example caruthers or uh, nashipuri any other book you can get but in this book the representation of the drawing is very nice it will attract your mind and uh, help you understand these things so this is chapter number 32 then uh, the pericyclic reaction there are two chapters one is on cyclo addition and there's chapter number 33 and chapter uh, chapter number 34 is on electrocyclic ring opening and ring closing and also the sigma tropic shift and sigma tropic rearrangement both both of these chapters you should read all the things thoroughly you should read because uh, it is not a specialist book for pericyclic all the important things are there and you should read the chapters thoroughly then after that again a very very important chapter is this participation fragmentation and rearrangement there are a lot of examples and all are very very important so uh, this chapter again you should read thoroughly it is as if i if you have i will suggest you to read single chapter from clarin that is this chapter this is a very important chapter so this is chapter number 36 then uh, the reaction uh, radicals the formation and reaction of radicals that is chapter number 37 uh, very nicely given all how radicals are stabilized what are the factors how they react all the all the things are given then uh, carbon and nitrine again it is chapter number 38 it is same like radical all the things are given in a very uh, ordered way so you must read then organometallic compound there are a lot of things in organometallic compounds and all the important things are given in clarin and all the things are uh, explained in terms of good mechanistic way right you, if you read the inorganic chemistry book you will not get the feel but in this claydon book you will get a clear understanding of the reaction and the reactivity concept of the organometallic chemistry and then asymmetric synthesis uh, although it, not all the things are given in this book but which things are given in the book that are very important and uh, you if you just want to prepare your uh, for your competitive exam it is enough and uh, you should read all the asymmetric reactions which are given in this chapter because uh, in this book it is nicely mentioned and you don't have to uh, take much pressure while reading th this uh, two or two three times you can read and you will understand all, all the things right so this is again a very important chapter and uh, this diastereo selectivity is again important ch chapter it is related to stereochemistry so it is chapter number 33 you should also read that now these are the all chapters and uh, so 
now i will tell you the how uh, what should be the order of reading uh, right because uh, if you start from any chapter you will not you may not understand the things right so there are some chapters you can see like this diastereo selectivity asymmetric synthesis uh, then your uh, saturated heterocycles these are like uh, stereochemistry chapters so first you should have clear idea about the stereochemistry you should read the basic books of stereochemistry like uh, nashipuri then after getting the idea you can read these chapters because uh, if you don't have the basic idea of stereochemistry you will not understand the things and for carbonyl chemistry you can start from uh, this chapter 10 then uh, chapter 11 and then formation of uh, formation and uh, reaction of enolate then your uh, alkylation of enolate and then uh, reaction of enolate with carbonyl group this is the order and this chemo selectivity protecting groups uh, you, you can read any any time because they are uh, completely different like uh, you, you if you have the prior knowledge of the all the reactions you can read it and regio selectivity also the same thing if you know the reactions the common reactions then on the same reaction you can apply the regio selectivity or chemo selectivity right and uh, spectroscopic things again uh it is uh, it is independent thing right you can any time you can read that read that and pericyclic this is a different class of reaction so uh, if you want to start from pericyclic you can start uh, although you should have a prior knowledge of stereochemistry while uh, uh, studying the pericyclic reaction because lot of stereochemistry are involved here and uh, that's all and also i skipped one chapter that is the reaction uh, uh, chemistry of alpha silicon and phosphor there are a lot of important reactions like like uh, involving phosphor the wittig reaction the silicon involving silicon uh, the peterson reaction uh, for alpha the julia olefination so lot of reactions are there related to the hetero atoms and uh, you should read that it is chapter number 27 there the chemistry of this hetero atom or the main group elements it is very nicely given so you should you must read that so these are the selected chapters at le at least what you should read from cleden and uh, that's all uh, so i will again encourage you to read the whole book but uh, i know that if you uh, never read the book or uh, you don't have previous reading of that book uh, exam is coming so you can can't read the whole book so at least try to read all uh, these these things and uh, you can see this i i mentioned this uh, special chapter uh, for example uh, here this h1 uh, nmr spectra the review of spectroscopic method this chemo selectivity and this alkylation of enolate this uh, aromatic heterocycles saturated heterocycles and pericyclic reaction 1 and 2 participation reaction and fragment this is very important okay and this carbene nitrine organometal can asymmetric at least try to cover these uh, chapters right so that's all and if you like this video then share this video with your friends and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching